to file, click on new document, you have your page here. And then if you go to the right, you'll see a pages link or tool that's there. If you left click on that and look closely, you'll see uh, three pages. One is on its own and then two facing pages. The first one is titled none and then the second section which has two pages is written a master. If you double click on either of the pages, it will bring you two pages. And these two pages, this is where you can create your master page. A master page basically is like a mini template. It has repeated content or attributes that you can be able to apply in other pages. For instance, if I want um, my document or my book to have the name of the author and the title of the book at the top, and also the page numbers at the bottom on the right and on the left end then this is where i define how my pages will look like i basically create a master for all my pages and this master page you basically apply it simply apply it to all pages and the attributes that are written there will be pasted into those other pages if this is my page this is my page and I want the title let's import a document a document just for demonstration let's place a document uh, what do we have here we have acknowledgements so I don't know why it's taking long yeah we have acknowledgement so this is my document yeah so this is my document however i want since acknowledgement is the title i want it to begin somewhere a little lower from the top of the page so i simply come to the right side sorry to the top part I simply come so this is my document but I want the acknowledgement section to begin a little lower there yeah. so that if I center this the acknowledgement section will begin here so that there is some space at the top to define that this is the starting of another chapter or another section within the page however if i have more pages or more chapters to work on then i might miss out the right position where i want my sections to begin so if i go to my master master page and come to the top section where these numbers are written this is kind of a ruler it's written here and then if I click anywhere and pull and if I right click hold and drag down you'll see a line coming down you see so from here I can be able to define where I want my sections to begin if I release that you'll see a thin line a colored one if I do the same to this other page sorry. Okay, there you go. So if I come back to my page, you can actually see. Let me zoom out on that. You can actually see this thin line. So that if I want my chapters to begin right here, then it's defined and it will be easier to apply the same on those other pages because it's created on the master page. So the, 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 the grids or sometimes called the guides, they basically uh, define where you are. You want your document, your, either your text or your image to be aligned. When you export this document, they don't appear on the exported PDF. So they're just for guides, just as the name suggests. It's just for guiding. The margins basically refer to the areas surrounding the inside 
part of your page this is the inside part of your page so the areas outside here are the margins these margins are basically your safe zone so that when you're printing and after printing there are some sections that are cut out so that you don't have a lot of white space then these margins define where your book reaches the bleed refers to the extra space now these margins are your safe sections however the bleed refers to the outside part the outside layer so that when somebody prints out your document and they want to cut off some sections they'll not cut whatever is supposed to be part of the book so the bleed guides the printer when cutting off those sections basically margins and the bleed almost serve the same purpose but the margins refer to this space and then the bleed refers to this border the extra space that is cut off during printing ensuring that whatever is supposed to be part of the book is not cut off this is our document and for this terminology i made extra content so i'm going to copy this and paste it here okay now this is good for the sake of this let me add uh, one page insert one page after page one okay Boom. a widow refers to a single word or a sentence or a line that is left by itself at the end of a paragraph so for instance if i since there is extra text let me just carry this to the next page So if you look at this, this is a paragraph and this paragraph extends to this section. However, uh, this line is alone, it's been left alone. There is no more content of the same paragraph within this page. Despite having more content of, of the same uh, from the same page or from the same chapter in the in the same page this line is alone hence the word a widow it's left alone and in, in design it's not advisable to have widows what you can do is either you have another line here so that it can accompany it or you can reduce the font size so that you can have them on the same page the whole paragraph on the same page yeah so that's for the widow and often is a line or a sentence that is the beginning of a paragraph that is on its own on a different page while the content the other part of the paragraph spills to the next page so for instance let's say let's um, reduce the font So if you have something like this on your text, this line or this sentence is on its own. It has, there is no other text to accompany it. The other part of the paragraph spills to the next page. So this, this becomes an orphan because it's on its own and it's something that is not advisable in, in design. If there is no space for another line or another sentence, simply have the whole paragraph begin on a different page. The drop cap is basically a decorative feature at the start of a paragraph or a page or a section. It basically refers to an enlarged letter or number or anything at the start of a paragraph. For instance, our paragraph starts with I and you want to have a drop cap you simply increase 
the font size you increase it you can make it bold too yeah it becomes larger 